Hello and welcome to DTWG the Prep Welcome. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to find the mean, median, mode, and range. Okay, that's for your GED math test. Okay, and um, uh, this is uh, along with the GED crash course. Okay, so uh, please, if it's your first time on this channel, please try to subscribe to our channel. And also, you can check out our website. This is at dtwgdprep.com. You know, to um, get summary notes, study guides, and free practice questions. I will leave all the link in the video description box of this video. And um, if you need one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one math tutorial, uh, you can also contact me. I'll leave my email in the video description box of this video. Okay. So to get the mean, median, and mode, let's say we have this example here. Right, it says find the mean, median, mode, and range of stance bills to the nearest whole dollar. All right, so you can see now we have to approximate to the nearest whole dollar. Some of these questions like this in GED can come out in the box format, not the option format, where you have to, you know, type in your values in the box. Okay, so now to get the mean, mean just means the average. All right, so you need, you need to add all the values here. Then divide by the number of items. We have January to December, so that's we have 12 items. Okay, so let's add up all this. So we have here $58. I will just leave out the dollars so it doesn't uh, waste her time, but okay, I'm already adding it. Plus 42, plus 46. So you can bring up your GD calculator for this. You know, during your test, your on screen calculator, you can bring it up to do this. Okay, 42 plus 51 is practically adding all these values. Then dividing by what? Plus 55 by 12. So plus 44 plus 36 plus 68. Then finally plus 52. So we divide all this by 12. When we add this punch in our calculator, we should get 606 then divided by 12. And that would give us what? Five, uh, 50 cents. Uh, $50.05. And remember, okay, we're told to approximate to what the nearest whole dollar. So we have $50.05. And this is five, right? You know your approximation. You look at, um, this is the whole dollar. So immediately after the whole dollar to the same side, the first value here, okay, is this number equal to five or greater than five? If it is equal to five, you can approximate a one. If it's also greater than five, you can approximate a one. But if it was four, we won't approximate a one. Our answer will just be $50. But here, we can approximate a one to this. And we have, what, $51 what, dollars in the nearest whole dollar. So this is the answer for the mean. Okay? Now, let's find our median. To get your median, you have to first arrange the values from the lowest to what? the highest okay you know the mean is all about the middle value of the um, set of what numbers or data set okay so we have to arrange from the lowest to the highest what's the lowest value here the lowest value here is 36 so we start with 36 the next one is uh, 38 the next is uh, 42 we have 242 so please write down 242 so don't miss out any data uh, set any data value don't miss it out because it's repeated doesn't mean you should put one value no you put the two side by side okay because to choose the median all your data set has to be what we have in the table here we have 12 data sets so this has to be 12 okay so we have 44 46 51 the next value will be what 52 okay then we have 55 then we have, after 55, we have a 58 here, then a 68, then finally we have 74, okay, that's the largest number here. So we have to find the middle number, all right? Sometimes in media is easy, when um, the data set numbers, that's the data uh, number, is like an odd number, if it is 11, you will just quickly get um, a middle number, which is one, but here, we have a 12 even number data set. So it means two numbers would be in the middle. 
you can see that these two numbers will be in the middle. If you uh, see from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these two numbers are in the middle. When we have a data set that is even, and we have two numbers that are in the middle, so we take these two numbers and we say 46 plus 51, we find the average of it, okay? And 46 plus 51, that will give us 97 divided by 2. And what will this give us? That will give us 48.5. So the 48.5 dollars. Remember, to the nearest whole dollar still, this is 5. We can approximate, okay? And we have what? 49 dollars. So our answer for the median is what? 49 dollars. I think, what did we get here? We got 51 dollars. Okay? So let's clear this now. Let's find the mode. Now, what's the mode? The mode is just the highest occurring number, okay? And, oh, I think we can even get it from here. Let me go back, okay? If the mode is what? The highest occurring number. And from here, we can see that the highest occurring number is what? 42, right? $42. That's the highest occurring number because it appeared twice. The other numbers appeared just once. So the answer for our mode is what? $42. We don't need to approximate that. Now, for the range, the range is also easy. It's the highest value minus the lowest value. Okay, you subtract the lowest value from the highest value. And from our data set, the highest value is what? $74. And the lowest value, you can see from when we arranged our median, is what? $36. So we do for our range, is what? $74 minus 36 and that would give us what 38 so our answer is in 38 dollars okay so don't forget to put your unit which is what dollars okay when you're told to type it in the box please put your dollars and 38 okay make sure you put your units of uh, measurement or value or whatever you are calculating okay so this is how you find the mean median mode and range Okay, so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. Also, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life, for he is the way, the truth, and the life. Give your life to him. He's waiting for you. He's going to make all things right, all things bright and beautiful in your life. All right, he's waiting for you. Okay, thank you, and stay tuned to our next video. Bye.